Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron. If you're one of my many returning members, thank you for coming back and following me along my weight loss journey. And then, uh, for all you new members, welcome. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It helps other members know when I'm posting videos. Well, today I decided to make uh, something different. Today we're making flax seed bread and uh, this is came. This was also my very first time that I made that. Look at how it actually looks like bread. And I never had this particular bread before and it uh, kind of reminds me of the uh, loaf bread that you buy on Thanksgiving that you make in, in the uh, those Pilbury brand breads that we really came to love over the years. Of course, those uh, we don't do those type of breads no more because they're very uh, high in calorie. And uh, so we're just trying to get some bread ideas and what I can make that will uh, satisfy my bread craving. But uh, anyways, uh, this recipe was very, very easy to make. I'm not going to have any uh, written time uh, ingredients over the timeline. I'll talk over the timeline as far as uh, what the amounts I put in. And I'll have the uh, YouTuber's link below the video. Now this YouTuber's link, uh, YouTube name is called Low Carb Recipe Ideas. And I'll, once again, I'll have her link below the video. Uh, we didn't create the recipe, and it's not one of my original recipes that I created or recreated to adding different ingredients as I follow this pretty much to the T. I weighed everything up in grams and weighed up everything in millimeters in a nice new uh, Nutra uh, uh, mini track scale that I have. And anyways, it came. this recipe came out really, really well. It was simple to make. I preheated the oven at uh, 350 degrees and I popped the bread into the oven for one hour and I took it out and then I checked it with a knife, came out clean and it was done. And here I'm just uh, breaking the bread pot to see how well it uh, held its shape and whether or not, you know, what, how it tastes like. And of course everything tastes good with butter. And that's about a tablespoon of butter that I put on the bread because I just wanted to see. I, I, I didn't really know what kind of taste it was going to taste like, but it really tasted really good. It tasted like bread. The texture felt like bread. It didn't feel greasy or anything like that and uh, it was pretty much simple and uh, I think when I added the uh, hot water that I did a, I boiled the hot water first in a tea kettle and then I think that agitated the, uh, the ceiling house powder and it gave the uh, bread the, that type of texture I, mean, I don't know it's just my theory but I never I, I got some silly mess powder I, I don't really use it all that much but I want to start using it more and more as we're going to start getting vigilant and more uh, careful about my weight loss now that we get some things finally uh, move in the past but again without further ado why don't we go right into the recipe and as I put the ingredients in I'll talk about the amounts over the timeline and hope you enjoy the video again don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and as always thanks for watching love you guys stay safe stay healthy have a great day okay so we're back so what we got going on in the bowl guys we got 360 grams of ground flaxseed and I did weigh it up to the grams and then uh, we're gonna put nine grams of whole psyllium husk powder in and 12 grams of baking powder and four grams of salt it's pretty simple and just follow me along in the next few steps and you'll be fine and then we get it to what the wet ingredients is we'll talk about that now that we have all the uh, dry ingredients, it's just about in. Let's give it everything a really good quick stir there to get out any lumps that might be in the uh, dry ingredients. And this is a good practice to get into if you're new into recipe making. And uh, follow me along, you'll be fine. I've been doing this for quite a while and I thoroughly know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's start adding the wet ingredients. We have 45 millimeters of apple cider vinegar, 280 millimeters of hot water, 216 grams of egg whites and once all the ingredients are mixed add it to the low pan with lined parchment paper and we get the at that point we should have the oven preheated to about 350 degrees and we're going to bake this baby for about one hour so why don't we just go ahead and give this everything a good mix and get it really well incorporated That's what it should look like when you put it into the low pan. Now we got the low pan now that we laid out with some parchment paper and I sprayed it with some cooking oil spray before I uh, 
put the parchment paper and hold down the parchment paper. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking a spatula and I'm just kind of like trying to smooth it out a little bit and trying to make some kind of a loaf, kind of like you would like maybe a meat loaf. But in this particular case, it's uh, flaxseed bread. And then once you've got it all uh, pretty much the way you want it there, just uh, go ahead and pop that baby in the lower rack in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. Right now, I'm just trying to smooth it out because, like, again, I never worked with this kind of bread before and I wanted to check the texture out and see whether or not I want to make it again. And I definitely have plans on making it again there. I ended up getting a small bag of uh, uh, flaxseed ground flax beans. And you can find the uh, flaxseed just about anywhere in your baking aisle in your grocery store. And you can even order it on Amazon or the Walmart's website when they have it in stock. It, it's pretty uh, much, uh, you know, one of these... Uh, the seed uh, bread that you can pretty much, or the, gr the ground seed, flax seed, you can get anywhere and there you have it. Now I'm just go ahead and pop that baby into the uh, 350 degree oven and like again for one hour and then after it's done, after the one hour, we'll pop it out and then we'll check it with the knife and if it comes out clean, we'll uh, put it on the baking rack and then take after we take out a low pan and let it cool for a little while and I uh, have a little bit of a taste test to see whether or not I like it or not. Well, uh, bread is done. You can see we stick in a knife and it did come out nice and clean again after one hour it took and I pretty much kept an eye on it to make sure it didn't burn. And I was having a little bit of problems getting it out at first because I realized the corners of the bread wasn't quite exactly sprayed with the oil like I thought it was. So now I'm just running a knife around the other edge of the uh, bread there to make sure I can pop it out without a problem because I didn't want to break apart my bread and have a disaster all over my uh, kitchen countertop. Uh, yeah, so it, again, just if you follow this method, you should be fine if you decide to make this bread and give it a try. I'm not sure that the macros are in this or the calories or not, but I'm sure it's not that much. And it's uh, from what I understand, this is very healthy bread. It's got a lot of good vitamins in it. And uh, now we're just uh, going to pick up the bread over here in a minute or two, and then we're going to lift it up with a piece of paper towel because it was very, very warm. Now I'm just trying to, uh, you know, reposition the camera and the bread so you can get a better idea what it looks like now that it's out of the yeah, low pan. And there you have it. There's our black seed bread, my first step of black seed bread. As you, and then uh, over here, I'm just again picking up my, my paper towel, which is this is just for demonstration purposes. That's the back side of it, and that's the side of it. And uh, this came out really, really great. It's still kind of warm to the touch there, but I was just, you know, when you're a kid there, you know, you're time your parents cook something like brownies or whatever, you can't wait to just dig right into those. And uh, and I'm no exception when it comes to uh, food and bacon, especially when I never had anything and I wanted to just try it for the first time and see whether or not I even liked it or not. But why don't we just go ahead and cut it and uh, give, give it a taste test and uh, see what happens. Now I have the uh, knife and I just uh, want to see how well it cuts here. And as you can see, it cuts nice and smooth like bread. It cuts right through like butter. And uh, I got, of course, I got one of those bread knives. And uh, yeah, so, so there, there you have it. This is on uh, black seed bread, my first step of black seed bread. And I wanted to show you what it looked like after it had been cut. You can see how nice and golden brown it came out. I'm thinking maybe next time I could probably put some sesame seeds on the top. I could probably put some raisins in it or some cranberries or something like that. I, I don't know. These are just some wacky ideas I'm having. Raisins are really a no-go on keto. you got to remember raisins have a lot of calories in them. So you got to be very, very careful what you put in for your, uh, if you want to be, uh, hold yourself accountable for your weight. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm certainly uh, trying to get better at my weight loss. You know, I've been under a lot of stress the last couple of weeks. Most of you know we lost that car and I uh, lost all my belongings in a basement and you now it's a process that I was starting over. but we did get our money finally but in the meantime it's just you know the, the hard part is looking uh, trying to get a car something that I can afford and of course I had to give up school and for now and then I'm putting some nice butter on the bread because everything tastes good with butter and uh, it wasn't I waited you could probably just warm it up a little bit in the microwave and uh, Course I'm picking up the butter on my placemat because I don't want to waste butter because everything tastes again everything tastes great with butter and uh, now it's time for the taste test and uh, yeah and that's what it looks like with the butter on it and, and see I'm just I'm te what I'm doing right now is just test testing the uh, texture of the bread and everything to see how flexible it was whether or not it would hold a shape or a sandwich and, and it does and it's, it tastes really good toasted you could put this in the, probably in the air frying and toast it for a little bit see how well it toasts and 
you know, just pray it that way. So tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to toast in the air fryer and, uh, you know, give you my taste test on a follow-up there when I make it again. And uh, so any, so my question of the day, did you ever have flaxseed bread? And if you did, what, you know, you got any tricks that I could do to make this better? I mean, this came out really, really great. My only thing is I didn't have to figure out the macros on it. But I guess the macros after you figure out all the ingredients that you put in, all depends on how many slices you get out of out of your loaf of bread, and you divide it by the amount. And, and the cow manager does all that for you and my fitness pal. But I'm just I'm just being too lazy right now. But yeah, there you have it. There's a final product. So let me, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy, and have an amazing day. And thank you again for watching.